Good evening from the Kirkley Rectory Chapel. And it's time for evening prayer or even song. We make it a song for an office hymn today. Um, today is an interesting day. It used to be called Low Sunday because it was the end of the Easter octave, so everything appeared a bit sort of lower and not so festive. Um, if you look in the Book of Common Prayer, it is the first Sunday after Easter. Um, now it's called the second Sunday of Easter. So um, whichever of those you use, it's the same day we're talking about. It is the octave day of Easter, and uh, it's the last time we use double Alleluias until Pentecost. So it's just single Alleluias from tomorrow. So if you've been noticing, you've been trying to say two Alleluias when it, when it matters. And then uh, from tomorrow, it's uh, one Alleluia for the rest of the Easter season. So let us quiet our hearts and minds to worship God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him, Dark death has been destroyed, and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory, and our lips repeat, repeat the endless song, Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. One of the evening hymns for Sundays in Eastertide are versions of what in Latin is called Ad Regias Agni Dapis, and it's all about the Lamb's High Feast, and we sing in joy. At the Lamb's High Feast we sing praise to our victorious King, who hath washed us in the tide flowing from his pierced side. Praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Mighty victim from above, conquering by the power of love. Thou hast triumphed in the fight, thou hast brought us life and light. Now no more can death appall, now no more the grave enthrall. Thou hast opened paradise, and in thee thy saints shall rise. Easter triumph, Easter joy, nothing now can this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free, souls newborn, O Lord, in thee. Hymns of glory and of praise, raise on Lord to thee we raise. Holy Father, praise to thee, with the Spirit ever be. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. O 
as our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 143 Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. For I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness sake, bring me out of trouble. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth, and our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The first lesson is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. He sets up victory like walls and bullocks. Open the gates so that the righteous nation that keeps faith may enter in. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. For he has brought low the inhabitants of the height, the lofty city he lays low. He lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The foot tramples it, the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. The way of the righteous is level. O just one, you make smooth the path of the righteous. In the path of your judgments, O Lord, we wait for you. Your name and your renown are the soul's desire. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. Your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. O dwellers in the dust, awake and sing for joy, for your dew is a radiant dew, and the earth will give birth to those long dead. Here ends the first lesson.
Canticle is a song of faith. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You were ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the Lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. second lesson comes from the Gospel according to St Luke. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. These words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up and ran to the tomb. Stooping in and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. Here ends the second lesson. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. It is customary on Sundays and greater festivals when one comes to the Magnificat to put incense on lighted charcoal. This incense has been blessed.
the stone which the builders projected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. We pray to the Lord in faith. We pray to you, our God, that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that the work we have done and the people we have met today may bring us closer to you. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God that we may hear and respond to your call to peace and to justice. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God, that you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious. And especially at this time, we pray for those who mourn, We pray for those who worry about people who are sick. Pray for those who are in pain. Pray for those who have lost hope. Pray for those who are in real need. God's miraculous light. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. We pray that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. In faith we pray, we pray to you, our God. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, 
that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now, rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining us this evening. We are online again on Tuesday evening on Zoom at 7.30 in the evening, and then in church for our midweek mass on Wednesday, and that is at 9.30. It's also on Facebook. I wish you a really good Sunday evening and a week filled with joy, opportunity and love. In Jesus' name.